Hello, this is Matt Glumack, the Autistic Golfer. How you guys doing? And welcome to the very first episode of Celebrity Plays, where we play rounds of golf with people of importance. And today we're going to be playing Encinitas Ranch Golf Course. So here is our first special guest. So now, please welcome from the Web.com and Asian Tour, Trevor Simsby. How are we doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? You, you all warmed up and ready? <laughs> warmed up. It's a little foggy out here, but uh, you know, we're, going, we're going one shot at a time and we'll try to find it. So. All right. That's all that matters, isn't it? Yeah. All right. But it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow off. It's going to be a fun day, so let's go do this, shall we? I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's going in that right direction. A little short. Sounded good. Start there, Birdie. No, it's in the middle. Ninety eight yards. I think it's on. Oh, just short. I haven't put it on one fast green in San Diego. Oh.
okay? Toward the flag there. Okay, it's it's pin high to the to the right, about eight feet or something. Okay, it's on the top shelf, I think. Yeah, that looks fine. Yes, what a good birdie there. Oh, it's on, I think. Oh, just on the front right there. Good attempt, nice birdie. Trevor just drove the ball over 320 yards on this hole, that's incredible. Just a wedge. It's going right at it. Whoa! Oh! 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 I thought you had that! <laughs> oh man, that was great. Yes, uh, three birdies in a row. Come on. Oh. I thought I had that thing. You know, I'll, that's a bogey I will gladly accept. Oh!
Eagle, thought you had it. Nice bird, though. Four in a row. Well, that's right at it. Okay, it's pretty high. That's a good shot. Okay, it's on. Good shot. Yes, two birdies. Oh, I thought you had that one. I think it is good. We'll see when we get up there. That's a good shot. Yes! Birdie, birdie.
shot there. Well, that's right at the hole there. Come on. I don't think so, but I bet it's right next to it. <laughs> Seagull! 63! <laughs> well, we had a really good round out there. I mean, I'll never forget it. Like, yeah. you were so close to breaking the course record. It was incredible. Yeah. And I, I played really well myself. In fact, that was actually the best round I've had on YouTube so far. So, today, um, I shot a 73 and big man here, he shot a 63. <laughs> there, you, there you go. And, well, that's, God, I congratulate you on that. That's, Thank you, man. That's, but I'm sure that, you know, a lot of my subscribers are going to be asking you, you know, like, like, um, you know, like, what you've done so far, like, on the Asian tour and the web.com, like, yeah, so I graduated college in 2014. I got my web.com card uh, the first year, so yeah. I was playing that 2015. And I struggled a bit that year, um, just with everything that comes with professional golf. Um, yeah. You know, it's a different level out there. And, yeah. Um, but uh, last December I went overseas and I did the Asian yeah. Tour Q School and I got my card over there, so I'm actually heading there uh, this Friday. Yeah, in your first event, you were in eighth place, yep. Bangladesh yeah. Open. That's, I had a top ten, so that, that's, was, that was nice. That's a great start there. Thank and, you. And um, what is your, um, what is your, basically your, your ultimate goal for golf? Um, I, you know, I would say right now I would love to be a top fifty player in the world. I think that's what my ultimate goal for now. Yeah. Um, and then once I get there, I'll set another goal, but. Um, you know, if I can get in the top 500 from now or this year, and then kind of uh, slowly improve my ranking and, and get progressively better, that's what we're all trying to do. Yeah. Just find ways to get better. So. Yeah. Are you, you think you'll be able to qualify for like the PGA Tour through the Asian Tour? Can you do that? Um, you can. I'll, I can get into uh, dep uh, depending on my ranking. I can get into like yeah. some of the uh, co-sanctioned events. Yeah. Um, like the possibly the WGC, um, yeah. which would be tough because I think you have to be in the top hundred. Yeah. Um, but there, there's a good chance, and if not, I can still play really good events in Europe, yeah, uh, in Asia, um, that are have plenty of, of merit to them. So, are you going to try to qualify for like any major tournaments in the future? Like maybe like you think you might try to qualify for like the U.S. Open? Yeah. I will, and you can uh, you can do that over there too. They have qualifying, yeah. like in Japan, and yeah. so depending on where I'm at, uh, I can I can make it work. <laughs> and just by watching your game today, I can tell that you have got just incredible successful future ahead of you. And I I'm pretty certain that eventually, and you know, within the next few five years, I think that you will be playing in some of those major tournaments. All right, thanks, man. And um, and this is for my subscribers, like um. What is the best piece of advice that you can give to amateur golfers around the country that are just starting out playing or maybe golfers that are, you know, about, they're solid bogey golfers, but they want to get better. Like, they want to get down to, like, a, a solid, you know, you know, 70s player. Like, yeah. what, what's the advice that you would give to, to those amateurs? I would say um, really hone your game inside of 150 yards to where you feel really comfortable getting inside 15 feet, uh, 12 feet every time. Because um, if you can give yourself those birdie opportunities, that's where it kind of starts. And then, um, well, obviously work on your putting like a madman. You gotta, you gotta practice putting. That's where it's at. But also know your tendencies, so you can play into them under pressure. Um, 
you know, the, the, the best thing to do for yourself is, is to play under pressure and see kind of what happens yeah. and take notes of that so that when you go back, you understand, try to predict what's going to happen before it, you know what I mean, before yeah. that, so you can have a plan. You yeah. know, if you're hitting a fade um, yeah. under pressure, maybe aim a little bit left and just know that, you know, that's your tendency. And yeah, that's kinda, what the best players in the world. Yeah, are. that's kind of like what I do on the 17th hole. I kind of aim just a little bit more, just so I can at least safely get on the green. Yeah. Even though I three put it, that was kind of awful, but it happens. Yeah. And also being pin high is yeah. really important. Distance control. Yeah. So, so, so you you know your distance and you know yeah. that you hit it good, and if you're short, you know you, you did something wrong. And I think that was the first thing yeah. my college coach asked me was how far I hit each of my short yeah. irons, because uh, he knew how important that was. Yeah. And I've realized that uh, if you're going to try to make a living at it, you gotta you gotta be really good in that scoring zone. Exactly. So, yeah. But I but it's been you know such a huge honor playing with you today, and I definitely thank you very much for coming out and yeah, joining yeah. me and and playing for my subscribers out there. And and be sure to follow Trevor when he's on the Asian tour and check out his website. I'll put it in the link below. And. Um, but I, I wish you the very best of luck, and I hope right, to play, play with you again sometime. Yeah, for sure. So be sure, be sure to hit the hit the subscribe button if you want to see a, another episode of Celebrity Plays. And um, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take yeah, care. <laughs>